Them fellers is getting too fast for me. Oh. <laughs> Howdy. 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 I'm just so proud to be here. <coughs> and my goodness, we have such a mighty fine crowd and good looking fellers. Well, I tell you, I just got back from Grinder Switch and things are really hopping there. I got to visit with my Aunt Ambrose again. Of course, the only thing she's been doing is keep an eye on Uncle Nabob. With good reason. But uh, they had a, oh my goodness, they had a wonderful Christmas party there. Uncle Nabob was in on the music. He got to play his jug. He's really good on that jug. And everybody in Grinder Switch, they say that Uncle Nabob gets more out of the jug than anybody. Anyway, I tell you, and oh, it was such a nice party. The girls had, oh my goodness, they were really decked out. You should have seen the dresses they were almost in. <laughs> they really, and then there was lots of fellers around there, but Uncle May Bob, he warned me about the fellers. <coughs> he said, Minnie Pearl, when a feller fills up his car, you know that uh, he's going somewhere where he's got something on his mind. So you just, you've got to watch them feathers. So, but anyway, I'll call it. I didn't, none of them came around. Don't understand it. Anyhow, I uh, had, a, had a couple of friends of mine go on vacation. And I mean, they went to one of these really fancy resorts and they had a good time. Man, they just, well, they hadn't been around too much. And so they just were really enjoying themselves. And when it came time to leave, why, the fellow went downstairs and he got his bill and he looked at the bill and he thought, hmm, Three or hundred and fifty dollars for fruit. We didn't eat no fruit. What? He went to the manager and he said, What's this here? No, a hundred and fifty dollars for fruit. And the guy said, Well, he said, every morning, why you had fresh fruit in your room. And he said, Oh. But he said, We didn't eat it. And the fellow said, yes, but it was there. So he wrote out his check, and he deducted $150. And the manager said, hey, wait a minute. How come you deducted $150? And he said, well, for kissing my wife. And he said, well, I didn't kiss your wife. And he said, but she was there. <laughs> young couple that were planning on getting married and uh, they were taking a walk through the pasture and they walked down through the pasture into the end of it and they sat down and they, they smooched a little bit and talked a little bit about their plans and, and he leaned over and he said honey he said I just want you to know that I would die for you. He said, I would literally face death for you. And so then they got up and they walked back through the pasture and was going toward home. And, and sure enough, they ran into a bull. And the bull took off after and they took off and they barely got under the fence. And she said, turned to her feller and she said, hey, you said you would face death for me. And he said, honey, I would. That bull ain't dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, this, 
<laughs> Another couple, the other night, went out and they went into this pit, banquet. And her husband kept going back and going back and going back. And she was just really embarrassed. And she said, honey, I wish you wouldn't go back to, this is your seventh time. <coughs> and he said, it's all right, honey. I'm telling them I'm bringing the food to you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you know that uh, most of us know that Santa Claus isn't a woman. Now you know how we have figured that out for certain, don't you? A woman would never wear the same outfit year after year. <laughs> you all have a very Merry Christmas.